Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to Kingspire channel. So there is a new Ragnarok online mobile game and it is called Ragnarok Rebirth. Now this is actually not new to some. This game actually opens for a beta test not once but twice prior to this and now it is finally officially launched and as a Ragnarok online game fan, I had to try it. Now what make this game so interesting than the rest of the Ragnarok online mobile game variation that we have so far? I'll be highlighting some new fresh features that this game has that are different than the other Ragnarok mobile games. Alright, first off, Ragnarok Rebirth or ROR as the players call it is a vertical style mobile game. It takes a similar style as to the AFK general mobile game games that we have seen a lot lately like AFK Journey, Mythic Heroes, AFK Arena and so on. But although it is supposed to be played vertically, players who play the game on PC can play it horizontally or in landscape mode. Now don't get me wrong, ROR do not have PC version or PC client at the moment. This however can only be done using PC emulator. If you are playing the game using LD player like I do, all you need to do is to enable the landscape mode at the emulator setting. By enable this option, what it does is, it will force the emulator instance or window to stay horizontally. So when you open the game, it will stay horizontal and now you can play the game in landscape mode. Speaking of LD player, here is special shout out to this video sponsor LD player. LD Player is an Android emulator for gamers who prefer to run their mobile phone games on PC or laptop. Whether you are using Intel or AMD powered computer, LD Player can optimize your Android gaming experience with useful gamer oriented features. With high FPS and graphics, LD Player let you have a smooth gameplay and stable connection. With multi instance feature, LD Player can open several games at once, which let you support multiple accounts simultaneously. You can download LD Player at their official website ldplayer.net. You can also get the download link at the video description below. Now some players may not like the vertical game style, but this is the core feature that the game want to bring forth to the Ragnarok online community to separate them with the other Ragnarok mobile games by giving a new and unique game experience to the players. Not only only it is a new way to play Ragnarok online mobile game, it is also has some new game style or mechanic. By adopting the AFK vertical style mobile gameplay, Ragnarok Rebirth also incorporate features that we usually see in AFK general vertical game, but normally do not have in other Ragnarok RPG mobile game. One of it is the leveling system. To level up your character in the game in other Ragnarok mobile game, apart from gaining EXP from the daily quest, main quest, dungeon or instance, players also have the option to grind EXP from killing monsters on the field. This let the players set their character on auto attack mode on the map to kill monsters to run the game for as long as they could to farm EXP. This is what the players call AFK farming. In Ragnarok Rebirth, just like the other Ragnarok mobile games, it has daily quest main quest, dungeon and instance. But for grinding EXP on the field, players can in fact close the game and get the EXP when they open it the next time they want to continue playing the game. The EXP farming in ROR is a given feature called auto exploration. To AFK farming, you just need to set on the monster that you want to explore or AFK farming on and after that, all you need to do is to just close the game and you will get the EXP, item drop and also the chance to get monster card when you open the game later. Here is my overnight farm or overnight exploration is the right term in ROR on the flora monster. I got EXP and also surprisingly the monster card. This gives a much more convenient way to players that actually play the game on the phone but cannot open it to run the game for 
for 24 hours due to overheating or battery issue. Now, one of the fun aspect and feature in Ragnarok Online mobile games is to farm EXP in party. Forming a party with other players while farming EXP will share the EXP obtained with all party members and boost your leveling faster. In Ragnarok Rebirth, to create this similar feature, players actually can FK with a party and go offline, which is the first time I know about this is totally wild for me. Usually when a party member go offline while you are AFK farming, it means that the other offline player will not contribute any EXP and you do not want that. You want players that help you kill monsters and actually give your party EXP. That is the opposite in Ragnarok Rebirth. After forming a party to AFK farming, all members can then close the game. But of course, each of the members need to set the auto exploration on the agreed monster to farm before AFK. That being said, if you are AFK farming on the field while still opening and running the game, either in party or solo, surprisingly, it does not give you EXP. It is literally the opposite of what I have been playing the Ragnarok online game so far. But that's how it works in ROR. Next, obtaining equipment for your character is very easy in ROR. Apart from the daily dungeon, equipment can also be obtained from just doing the auto exploration or AFK farming. In other words, the equipment is a monster's drop in ROR. Go back to the drops that I got from the Flora monster. You see here, I also got the weapon and armor. And because of that, because the equipment is relatively easy to get, players overall progress is not so much different from the equipment perspective. Everyone essentially will have the same type of equipment. That being said, other factors plays a bigger role to make you different than the other players like the pad. Pad has skills and different aptitude that can add a variation to your build. One other feature that I like in this game is the ability to buy the premium currency diamond in the exchange center or the trading house the game call it. Just like in Ragnarok X Next Generation ROX, players can purchase the diamond using crystals. There is a limit however of 5000 diamond that you can purchase per day. But I have not known what is the monthly limit of diamond you can get from the trading house. So far in the game, there are only the 6 main job class available. What's interesting about this job class is that although everything else is quite the same, there's a difference in the archer job class. The archer class physical attack is not scaled with dex in ROR. Usually the archer main attribute is dex in the other Ragnarok game. But in ROR, the archer gets its physical attack from the strength stat, which intrigue me and excite me at the same time. I mostly play archer in Ragnarok game, so this ultimately sparked my interest towards the game. What's more, I was told that the trap skill damage in ROR is affected by the AG stat, not INT, like the other Ragnarok game, which pulled me in even more to this game. Alright, Ragnarok Rebirth is a rather simple and straightforward game and might not be everyone taste that prefer complex features and build, but because of the different element that the game has, especially in the job class build, my interest just skyrocketed and I just have to explore the game even more. So if you are interested in this game and are interested in the job class build, especially on the Archer, stay tuned for more Ragnarok Rebirth video because I'm going to be playing the Archer in this game. That's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.